morning, everybody. It is a gorgeous summer morning here in Indiana. There's Ray, Ray's pulling in right behind me. Ray's big truck. The stairs, the dreaded stairs, normally I hate them. Climbing this mountain of doom during peak training is the worst because it fries my legs and reminds me of how tired I am. But right now, that is not the case. I'm not even a little concerned about stairs because we are on Taper. Most swimmers' favorite time of the year. Taper, taper, taper. We're fully resting for US Olympic trials, obviously. And it's been a long time since I've had a true full taper, like true full season, full taper. It's been almost two years. Let me explain. My last taper would have been US Open December of 2020, but that doesn't really count because that wasn't a true taper. It was only like a week of rest because it wasn't a full season because 2020 was just a wash. We didn't have a real season. We didn't have a real training block. It was it was chaos. If you know anybody competing at US Trials coming up because we leave in like a week, make sure you wish them all good luck or anybody from really, any, if there's a trials meet, any big meet, it's listen, it's championship meet season. If there's a big trials or a big competition coming up leading into the summer, wish them good luck. Cody, what is Tabor? I'm a little bit of a swimmer, but not like a super serious swimmer and I don't really understand it. I'm glad you asked. Let me explain. Taper is essentially just the end of the season, the final competition, the biggest meet, where you start to taper down the volume of your swimming, the intensity of your swimming, and that means the speed at which you're swimming, the pace times that you're holding, all that goes up. So you get to swim really, really fast, leading into that big competition. And there's a lot of different ways to do that. Like, here's a big example, okay? A VO2 max set, a best average set, a 200 pace set, right here, 2050s, let's say they're on 120, okay? You're doing that like middle of the week, mid-season. Say you're three to four weeks out from your biggest competition of the year, you start to scale that back. So maybe you do 14 or 15 instead of 20, or you keep the volume and you go easy hard. So instead of doing all 2050s fast, you go one fast 50, one easy 50 on the same interval, and then scale down the volume from there. And then the next week, maybe you go 2050s again, but instead of all 200 pace, you go descend then one to four. So your total volume of 50s at 200 pace started at 20 50s and now is only at five. Am I making any sense? Swimmers, coaches, teams incrementally bring these things down across the board on all of their training sets that they do throughout the week, leading into big competitions. Some teams keep the repetitions and the volume higher. Some teams come down really, really low, like if you're a true sprint program. That's one thing that I love about swimming is the variety of things that happen everybody does stuff differently. For example, I am almost 30 years old. I hold a taper very well. I taper a long time and in peak training I do a lot of volume but when it comes time to taper I drop off a lot and my fast twitch and my snap all that really comes up. But someone like Lily King or my friend Laura Morley from the Bahamas right there, when they taper, they don't drop a whole lot of volume and the intensity doesn't come down as much as sometimes people would like. Good morning, Laura. <laughs> Here comes Lily, 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 hello. Are you in taper group A this morning? Uh, as in the no taper? Yeah. Yep. Mm, mm. Lily's too good for taper, she doesn't need it. That's correct. Evil coach Corey yeah, just uh, kicked me out of my yeah, lane because cool. he's not very nice. Cody's, Cody's talking bad about my board <laughs> <laughs> Want all the viewers out there to know the true version of Cody Miller. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last time I ask you about your child, Corey. Too bad <sighs> forgot how to edit. Oh, that's right. Corey's having a we're gonna have we're gonna have little kids like, that are gonna be friends. What really happened was I was having a nice conversation with Corey, asking him about his baby who is due soon. His wife is about to give birth. Mid conversation, he goes, Hey, you need to get out of that lane. Is Cody in that lane? Get out of the lane. Like in a jokey fun way. So I was like, huh, last time I asked you about your baby, Corey. I'm pretty sure Corey was listening to Miley Cyrus. Hey, I listen to Dolly Parton. I'm from California. Why would I listen to Dolly Parton? God, this is just. So let's get in the water, guys. Let's get in. Enough of this Dolly Parton versus Miley Cyrus nonsense. It's time to get in the water. I will be the first one in the water today. Here we go. Side entrance. Yeah. Okay. 
The water is nice and wet. Let's go. The practice goes 1500 warm up, then a fish kick set, just a dolphin kick activation set here, and then we get into the main set. Oh, Eustace getting cold. Let's go. 15 over us. Let's go. If you want. You can do it, Laura. That's right. Tighten my lane line, Corey. That's what you get. Moving on. I'm putting this past us. <laughs> <laughs> I, pre I appreciate it. I, you know how much I like a tight lane line. We're uh, going to be doing some 50s fast this morning. A little bit of parachute work. I'm tapering for the Olympics. <laughs> you know, I'm just positive positive. Positive poly this morning. I think that elite mindset should be inspiring. That's right. <laughs> Random thought, movie recommendation, Army of the Dead. It's my favorite movie that I've seen this year. I've watched it three times already. I don't like dead things. It's a zombie movie. You don't, don't like zombies? Like it's awesome. There's these crazy killer zombies and there's alpha zombies that are smart and tactical. Zombies. By the way, Army of the Dead, hard R movie. Not for children. If you are not of age and your parents say no, you can't watch it. I remember the days when I, when I couldn't watch R-rated movies. Whew. So happy I'm an adult now though, you know? You like my clucking? I go, oh, bark, bark, bark. Bark. I go, oh, look at the chicken. Look at the little chicken. Bark, 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 bark. Dude, chicken wings sound good. Oh, oh man. I almost got them on it's like 6.30 a.m. I would eat some chicken wings. Ray put in the touch pads for us because he's professional. Problem is they're really old and they kind of smell. <laughs> kind of smell. Yep. Smell real bad. We're doing no, mid pool no jamming, 50s. No 25 into the flat wall. 25 out fast. Taper group C, Cody is finished. And that was a successful practice. I love the, the 50s from mid pool working on turning in and out of the flat wall. Good, good stuff. I'm feeling pretty hungry. I think I've got some leftovers in my fridge. Yep, I am rarely in short supply of some HelloFresh leftovers. Mostly because last night Ali cooked three HelloFresh meals. I got one left that I'll probably cook tonight. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Opening up my HelloFresh app to see what I've got delivering next week. One of my favorite elements of HelloFresh is that I'm constantly getting meals that I've never had before, stuff that I've never tried, and cooking them is, is still easy. Last night I had a sesame soy beef bowl in addition to a couple couple other HelloFresh meals as well. Always getting new stuff, always getting delicious, tasty, amazing food that cooks quickly. It's just made my life so much easier. Convenience for me is key, and so the fact that the food just shows up at my door every single week, I can choose the meals in advance on my phone through the app, I can also pause weeks, cancel weeks. I do all of my meal planning through the simplicity of the app. I don't have to think about, oh, like what am I gonna have for dinner? You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what your diet is, if you're vegetarian, pescatarian, low carb, they've got a bunch of different meal plans to choose from, and they have more five-star chef curated meals than any other meal service, so you always know you're getting something delicious. They support a lot of YouTubers and content creators, people like me, which makes me really happy, and they donate a lot to charity. Like HelloFresh has given over 4 million meals away over this past year because I mean, everybody knows it's, it's been a rough year for a lot of reasons. And the fact that they're doing their best to take care of people less fortunate than us, that's very admirable. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my promo code CODYM12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Click the link in the description below. You doing okay, buddy? You doing all right? I mean, look at how chill he is. He's basically a cat. Look at him just sprawled out on top of... 
He's got the life. That's it for me, guys. As always, make sure you're following me on social media, at Swim Miller on Twitter and at Cody Miller on Instagram. Vlogs every Wednesdays. If you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button and become a member of our swim family. We have merch, Cody Miller merch, on the merch store. If you want to get a video from me to you or somebody you know, for whatever reason, I'm on Cameo. Thank you guys for watching, and until my next video, I will see you guys later. Ooh.